Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of 8, and today I'm playing physics-based real-time strategy game Forts. game features a campaign mode that serves as both a tutorial and a series of scripted missions where you're trying to destroy the enemy fort. also has a skirmish mode, which is what I'm going to do in the video. Uh, also has sandbox where you can kind of experiment with different designs without getting shot at, and multiplayer uh, for those who want to take the battles online. So I'll do a skirmish game here. Uh, game features a number of different maps uh, where you can start with either basic forts or you can uh, have kind of a pre-built fort and just try to take out the enemy. Uh, game does not have any randomized maps, which is a little disappointing, uh, but it does have a uh, fairly decent uh, selection of uh, things to go after. So I think I'm going to do this one right here. Uh, you can customize which team you're on. I'm going to put the computer on easy uh, simply because I'm going to talk <laughs> during a lot of this. Uh, and you can also select a commander which will give you different uh, bonuses uh, and attributes you can have there. So I'm just going to... doesn't even really matter. I'll just uh, do that. Alright, so what you want to do is uh, build up your structure uh, and then you add things to it that will uh, allow you to attack the enemy. So you can click and drag uh, things up like that uh, and then we'll kind of go through all the different things. You have uh, basic wood material, you can also have armor put in the front uh, which will allow you to uh, absorb more damage. You can also have doors, uh, which will be open and shut to allow projectiles to go in there. Shields and ropes, uh, also defensive and uh, stabilization there. I do want to actually get back to this area, so we will build over to that, I believe. If I can. Try to build back here. We'll see how that works out for me. Might not be stable enough. Can do that though. So I got that rocket going. <laughs> and that's pretty crappy. That's alright, it'll do. Um, under the devices here you can uh, build mines which will uh, increase your metal production which I need to do uh, down here along the bottom. And build another one too. Wind turbines, which will collect wind uh, to uh, give you energy. So there's two resources over here. Over here, you have metal and energy. Uh, my energy is actually pretty fast, although I do think I'm going to do a wind turbine here in a little bit. I do need to get this metal production up though. It's starting to run out. So I'll put wind turbines along here, I think. At least one. And you get some wind storage also, some batteries. So my second little mine guy is up. I need to get a third. Again, I'm being kind of slow uh, purposely. You can only put these little mining things on uh, foundation, which are kind of the stone looking things, which really kind of inhibits uh, what you can do. Definitely. Uh, next thing I want to get up is some defensive, uh, because of that, some uh, defensive machine guns, which will automatically engage any incoming projectiles. So I'm going to actually put those up on the roof. And the way that you counter those is with uh, sniper rifles, which is what that guy is trying to do right there. That's definitely what he's doing. I'm gonna get a sniper rifle up there too. Especially because I have this thing. Let me trash that actually. Trash. And okay, so I'm on fire. So the way you fix uh, repair, even on easy, I'm getting kicked because I'm keep talking. Uh, you just hold down the R key and you just move your mouse around, it'll automatically repair. Uh, and put out fires of anything, um, which is <laughs> pretty easy to do, uh, that's for sure. I need more machine guns here. 
I need to start getting some weapons up so I don't die instantly. I'm gonna get my sniper rifle there. So as soon as I get uh, the sniper guy built, I can actually use this uh, rocket launcher thing. I need to get a workshop too. Uh, the other buildings on here, uh, metal storage and energy storage, which I actually probably need because I'm up against my limits on both. Uh, and then I need to get this uh, workshop up so I can get uh, mortar placed. So I'll do that right there. Somewhere in the interior of the building. Uh, machine guns will automatically shoot incoming projectiles. Uh, but you need to manually aim the rest of your weapons. Gonna shoot some uh, rockets at that guy right there. So there they go. So rockets are really kind of the only way of countering that because you can essentially uh, just have a whole bunch of rockets going. More than the uh, machine guns can intercept. So I'm gonna put some mortars behind this thing. All right, so he's done. The uh, one of the annoying things is you have to manually aim everything, uh, which takes away from building your fort. Uh, the game is very defensively uh, biased, uh, which really just results in dragging the game out way further than it needs to go. Get a couple of these mortars up. Some rockets going. Like I said, I shot down basically almost all of his stuff, and I can just repair very easily the rest of it. Now I did catch his building on fire a little bit. You really want to try to get the uh, reactor out. So as soon as these things are built, I'm going to control click them, and then you basically pick a power uh, and adjust it. But again, two of these is not going to be any match for. Uh, he has machine guns, so I need to figure out how to take out the machine guns. Uh, really, in the way of doing that is with missiles. So we're kind of stuck at the stalemate until I take uh, his machine guns down, which I can kind of see where they're at. But again, you know, we're just beating each other, and no one's going to come out on top here, which is one of the more frustrating things about the game. And what you can do is try to queue it up so it fires stuff at the same time. That's really, I guess kind of how you're supposed to do it. So, let me aim here. And there goes my laser guy. And I'll try to do these at the same time. And another thing you can't do is you can't have these things automatically fire um, over and over again. You have to manually go in and re aim and re-fire them. You can control click them to have them go at the same time, but you'll have to redo that every single time that you uh, go, which is super annoying. As you can imagine. And again, the, their machine guns are just going to take that right down, so it's not even going to matter. I've been catching his stuff on fire a little bit, though. Alright, see if we can get something. You get all this going at once? Yeah, that was pretty well timed. Yeah, that's a good shot. That's really what you have to do. Is you just have to time everything at once. So his stuff's burning pretty well, so it should be fairly decent here. But again, you know, you have to manually aim all this stuff. So it all kind of hits at the same time. So that the machine guns don't shoot everything down. And he instantly repairs it all, which uh, is super annoying because basically all that effort I just did um, is useless. So... you're stuck at this gigantic stalemate which will never end <laughs> basically until you get some of these more advanced things on here you know we can get some cannons out there I need to 
uh, build a factory. Uh, so let me get that up, actually. That right there. But again, I don't really have any room for that. The cannon. Unless I build out a little bit, I guess I can do that. What do you take out? I took out my sniper. You build the door there. Or not. So, um, you know, although the basic part of the game is fine, there's it's very, very tedious. Um, you know, because you can just instantly repair, almost instantly repair anything. Um, the game just is a bunch of stalemates. You know, until you crack into their little defenses by getting a good shot in. You know, you have to manually fire everything. Um, you can basically rebuild anything very qu more quickly than you can, uh, you know, than the enemy can take advantage of it. Alright, so let's try to get this stupid thing going. And do that, and then control click, control click, go. Try to get all this going at the same time. Overwhelm his machine guns. Which I kind of did. But again, if you only do two... And that was a terrible shot anyway. Uh, we'll do that, we'll do that. Do that, do that, do that. Go. That was not far enough. And again, he's already repaired everything. So, even though I landed a fairly decent thing, um, it doesn't make a difference. Because he's already repaired it. So Now, you can get basically the end game stuff is this cannon and the, the plasma laser. Uh, let's see. Let me get rid of this. And I'll put a cannon instead. Right. You know, all this armor. Fire. So, yeah, and I missed. A little bit less. Yeah, yeah, and they're already gone because he has like five machine guns. So, I mean, then this is basically it. It's just a bunch of just banging your head into the wall over and over again because you can just repair any damage that the other guy has pretty much instantaneously. The machine guns don't do anything. The mortars usually get shot down because you can just spam cheap machine guns all over the place. Like, there's that. But again, I can go in. That was a pretty good shot. Actually, my thing's about to collapse. Oh, there you go. He got me. Probably because he had, like, two different... Uh, yeah, he built another swarm. And basically, that's it. You get one lucky shot, and that's the game. Um, but really, there's too much going on at once. There's not enough tactical options. The game just basically becomes... Can you launch more stuff than they have machine guns for? That's the game. You know, between doing multiple missile swarms, which are really restricted in where your missile swarms can be because you have to build them on foundations. Or if you can get the heavy cannon up uh, in order to take it out. You know, the machine guns are too cheap and too effective. Um, and they can only be countered with sniper rifles or getting a lucky shot and that makes the, the whole fort collapse. Um, repair is too quick and easy. Uh, there's no automatic aiming on offense. Once you land a good mortar trajectory, you can't say, okay, keep doing that over and over again. Uh, you have to manually go in and redo it, which really divides your time between building and aiming. Um, and you can't keep doing both at the same time because once you get a good shot and you really want to keep hammering them to take down their fort while they're trying to repair stuff. Um, 
instead of paying attention to expanding your own fort uh, on certain maps where you really want to expand in order to claim more territory. So because of that, the gameplay mechanics aren't great in forts, whereas the, the idea is pretty good. Um, the physics are fine. The AI does a good job, as you saw in Easy there, even uh, defeated me mainly because I was wasting my time trying to explain the game. Um, but the repair is too fast. You're really limited in the places you can build. Uh, you have to. You can only connect to the ground on the foundations, which are the only places you can put mines and missile emplacements. There's no random maps, so you're stuck with the campaign and the handful of skirmish games that they have. And online multiplayer, which again, playing against humans is always better uh, than playing against the AI, no matter how good the AI is. Um, but again, it's really limited uh, tactical options. You build your machine guns for defense, you got to snipe the other person's machine guns, you try to get a bunch of projectiles in at once to try to overwhelm their machine guns. And that's every game uh, in forts. So because of that, um, it's very limited in replay value. Uh, it's a game that I cannot recommend. That's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.